New trouble for country music star Morgan Wallen. He's accused of throwing a chair off of a rooftop bar in Nashville, narrowly missing police officers. Senior national correspondent Steve Osinsami has the story. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. This isn't like any of his other run-ins with police. These are felony charges, which means possibly he could be seeing years in prison if he's convicted. Last night we lit the liquor top. He's one of the most successful recording artists in the entire music industry. Morgan Wallen, this morning in another mugshot, charged with three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct after police say he threw a chair six stories down from a rooftop bar in Nashville. And police say the chair landed just three feet from two of their officers who were working below. Witnesses say they saw him pick up the chair, throw it over him, laughing afterward. He was booked and released on bond early Monday morning, seen here moving between two umbrellas and a waiting vehicle. He has not yet entered a plea. In a statement to ABC News, one of Wallen's attorneys tells us he is cooperating fully with authorities. Maybe this might be the last time I get to lay you down. Cause I can't love you more than my hometown. It's not his first time in trouble. In May of 2020, he was arrested and charged with public intoxication and disorderly conduct after getting kicked out of a Nashville bar. Prosecutors later dropped the charges. Later that same year, during the height of the pandemic, Saturday Night Live dropped him as their musical guest after he was seen in TikTok videos, ignoring COVID precautions at the time, out partying without a mask and kissing random women. And then in February of 2021, he was caught on video filmed by a neighbor using a racial slur while speaking to a friend after coming home from a night out. His label briefly suspended his contract for while radio wouldn't play his songs, they wouldn't allow him at the Billboard Awards, and soon he was on YouTube Obviously, apologizing. The natural thing to do is to apologize further and just continue to apologize. He sat down with our own Michael Strahan following the incident that could have cost him his career. Do you understand why it makes black people so upset? I don't know how to put myself in their shoes because I'm not, you know. But I, I, I do understand, it, especially when I when I say that I'm using it playfully or whatever, ignorantly, I, I understand that that must sound, you know, like he doesn't he doesn't understand. Instead, sales and streams of his music online went up. The way our culture is right now, bad behavior is not only tolerated; it's often rewarded. The real justice here would be to treat him like an average citizen who did the same thing. Wallen is kicking off a new tour, so he's going to be quite busy, but he'll need to return home for a court appearance on May 3rd.